Okay, we're here with Purdue University to check out their house, and I'm going to talk to Kevin Rogers, the project manager, a little bit. Kevin, why don't you tell us a little about what makes your project unique? Okay, we are uh, Team Purdue, and we're designing the in-home, which is the Indiana home. We're the first team from Indiana to go to this competition, and our main goal is to make a realistic uh, net zero home. So we're trying to uh, stay with a very traditional Midwestern home. We have an attached garage, which is the first time that's been done in the competition so far. And again, uh, that's taking advantage of the fact that you guys don't have to count unconditioned square footage. Right. Our home is 984 square feet, which is below the 1,000 uh, square foot maximum, and we do not have to count the uh, attached garage or the screen porch. And those are both very realistic items that that people are going to want to look for. Very realistic. There's a lot of snow up in Indiana right now, so I would love to have an attached garage. And I notice you have PV on the front of the house, and then you have a smaller array on the back. What's that all about? Yes, the uh, our house is fully photovoltaic, so there's no uh, hot water system in the house. We're using electricity to generate everything in the home, including hot water. And we have basically between an 8 and 9 kilowatt system, and the back array expands on our kilowattage and it is actually bifacial, so the sun will pass through the panels on the back and we'll have a reflective surface and it'll bounce back and that'll increase our efficiency somewhat. Oh, great. And those are actually mounted at a slightly steeper angle, which is better for energy production. But you didn't need to have any on the garage itself. That, that wasn't a feasible place? It wasn't feasible because you have to look at the shading. So this is the, imagine this is the south side, so the sun will come across and once it gets over here, half the garage is shaded. Once a panel is shaded, the entire panel does not work. Okay. And uh, can you tell us anything about the inside of the house? The inside, we have a, kind of an open floor plan when you first walk in the home. Uh, there's vaulted ceilings in the living room and the kitchen area. And there's private space in the back of the house, which is two bedrooms. There's a master bedroom and a uh, office or, uh, or a guest bedroom. And here on the, on the rendering of the house, it looks like you have kind of a, a trellis of some kind. Is that, we, uh, has that we been scrapped? A, no, we still have the trellis. We're going to add that on as a, a shading device for the uh, front windows. Um, so during the, the uh, summer months, the sun will be much higher, so that will be easily shaded. But during the winter, the sun will be lower in the sky, which will allow the sun to pass through the home and naturally heat with uh, passive energy. So you're really taking advantage of some passive stuff. And there, that was too. another design constraint that we want to take advantage of uh, natural uh, phenomenon as much as possible. So we also have uh, uh, clear story windows yeah. on the front, which Same allows idea. daylighting, so re uh, reduction of required actual lighting in the house. And they're actually operable, so we can open those up and on a nice day get a nice, uh, what's called a stack effect. So you have air entering the house and hot air rising and going out. So kind of a natural cooling effect. And, and, and how is the house going to break up for transport? It looks, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty large roof area. It's, uh, it's very, actually a very deep house compared to some of the ones in the past. Uh, a lot of the previous competitions were long and skinny, which helped in transportation. Mm -hmm. But many uh, uh, homeowners today would not want to live in a house like that. So we actually have a deep home that splits into basically four sections. So we have a section for the living room, a section for the kitchen and bathroom area, which is what we term the wet core. Is that's all the plumbing in the house. That's the only plumbing in the house, so it's easy to disconnect. Got and then we also have a section for the bedroom and office space, and we have a garage section. So it's tougher to transport, but it's uh, I think it's better uh, design, better, better sacrifice. Yes. So now what are you going to do with it once the competition is over? Where's the house going? We're still working with that. Uh, we're definitely not going to scrap the house at all. It's going to be in the uh, West Lafayette area near Purdue University. Okay. Uh, we're looking at a few organizations possibly donating the home, but the goal is to look at long term, uh, see how we did with the uh, design, the performance, and uh, wrap it up with some uh, master's uh, thesis and dissertations. Great. Well, thanks a lot, Kevin. Good sure. luck. Thank you.